Hi, this is uh, Justin I'm here with Jose, and this is the shortcoming video. Um, so one of the biggest shortcomings of this application right now is that the input devices are recognized and we can get the input from them, but they're currently not being used uh, to the extent we would like uh, in the actual functionality of the application. So currently the application does uh, recognize when uh, the input devices receive some kind of gestures. So if you get up in front of the Elite Motion and start smiling, uh, the application will recognize that, but it doesn't do anything with that. So in the future, we'd like to see someone take that and make the gestures do something. Another thing is the Leap Motion in particular is very sensitive to its environment, like the lighting. Um, and sometimes the gestures um, just aren't picked up um, in a way. So for example, I'm swiping right now and you can even see the tracking going on, but the, like, it's still gonna, well, it actually switched the tool this time, but like nine times out of 10, the tool doesn't get switched when you swipe like we intend it to. So that's another thing to look into, in increasing the accuracy of the gesture tracking, I guess, or better environments for testing, something like that. Yeah, the RealSense has the same problem, and actually since the Leap Motion and RealSense both work with infrared, not only are they affected by light in the environment, but they're also affected by each other. So there can be some issues if you use them at the same time, and the application should ideally allow you to use all the input devices together. And uh, finally, um, this application uh, currently only has a like builds for Windows. Um, most of the code is multi-platform, but uh, particularly the Connect and the RealSense are not multi-platform. They're Windows only SDKs. So in the future, if those SDKs open up, it might be a good idea to switch to a multi-platform build system or just build environment or more multi-platform code, I guess, in general.